<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to the Triumvirate. My name's Adlar, this is Jay, as you know. Uh, we're going to do 1500 points today of Grey Knights versus Imperial Guard. Definitely not heretics. That's my input on the internet. <laughs> Alright, so we are back on Vraxis. Uh, Adlar is back with his Grey Knight. We fought you last time against Aiden's Death Guard. Uh, Typhus was the last surviving boy and he managed to escape. Uh, so they are now meeting up with their allies in the Imperial Guard. But upon meeting them, they are fired upon for no reason. We're doing no mercy today, which is kill points. So for every enemy unit destroyed, you get a point. And it's First Blood, Slay the Warlord, and Line Breaker as usual. Nice and simple today. Uh, doing 1500 points, or 1504 points I have. <laughs> yes. It's, 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 it's been agreed between us both tonight. Yeah, we're, we're a little bit over, it doesn't matter. Uh, so, we are going to show you the armies. So here we go with my 1502 points of Grey Knights. Starting off with the HQs, we have my Warlord, Chapter Master Adler, of course. He's sporting a Nemesis uh, Demon Sword. Obviously, you got a got the custom halberd there just for uh, just because it looks cool. And Jay went through a lot of effort to make it. And I think well, I love halberds, so the rule of cool. The rule of cool, indeed. He's also sporting a uh, was it a heavy psy cannon? Yes. Uh, his warlord trait is first to the fray, which allows him to reroll ch fail charges, I believe. Uh, second HQ, I've got a chaplain, just bare bones as he is, Crozius, and uh, Stormbolter. I have given him the Curious of, uh, Curious of Sacrifice relic, so he gets like a feel no pain rule. I'll, 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 I'll reread that at some point, then I will not forget. Troops, we've got uh, Strike Squad, just bare bones, all, all swords, no, no special weapons there. Uh, I've got one Terminator squad here, all halberds and one demon hammer and a Gatling silencer. Not a Gatling silencer, just a silencer, I believe. Sorry, my, my bad. Yeah, all halberds on that unit, even on the just a car. Um, this squad, we've got a couple of uh, weapons here. We've got two swords, one incinerator, one halberd. No, sorry, two halberds. Yeah, because there's one on the uh, one on the incinerator and a Demon Hammer on the Justicar. We've got a, on a heavy support here, we've got another Dread Knight. He's sporting a hammer and a heavy incinerator. And then, this is my knight. This is the first time seeing him. This is Big Greg. <laughs> Aptly named by Jay. He's a big boy. I was the first one to have a knight. He is, he is of House Tyrannis, of the Astra Militarum. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Adeptus Mechanicus aligned. He is a Knight Paladin, as you can see, with the Rapid Fire Battle Cannon and the Reaper Chainsaw. Then he's got two Heavy Stubbers as well. And that is 1502 points of Grey Knights with my Super Heavy Auxiliary Sword and Imperial Knights. I'll hand it over to Jay. Alright, so this is my Cadian Army today, 1504 points. Uh, it is a battalion detachment and a super heavy auxiliary detachment. Uh, so starting off, we've got company commander here. Uh, he's got Kurov's Aquila, which is a relic uh, on a 5-up when an enemy uses a stratagem. I get a command point, so I'm basically like nicking a command point. Uh, he's also got the Warlord trait uh, superior tactical training, which is the Cadian specific one. Which is basically when I do an order to a unit, so say the infantry unit there. Uh, on a 4-up I can do an order to a unit of the same type, so another infantry squad. Uh, then we've got Lord Commissar, he's just as he is, power sword, bolt pistol. Uh, troops, we've got four infantry squads, so we've got one here with a melty gun, and then we've got three 
with auto cannons. One of them has a flamer, and the other two have grenade launchers. And then we've got a 20 man squad of conscripts. Uh, elites, we've got tech priest engines here. And we've got the Bulgarians there as well, power mauls and brute shields. Uh, fast attack. We've got a, a, a Bane Wolf, that's what it's called. Uh, it's got a, the chem cannon and a heavy flamer. Uh, we've got uh, in the heavy support, heavy weapons, squad, three last cannons. Uh, a Lehman Russ with the battle cannon, two heavy bolters, a heavy flamer. Dedicated transporter, two chimeras, just a default multi lasers. And then the thick boy, we've got a hellhammer today. So I've never used him before, so we're gonna see how well he does. You know, Adlar both got super heavy, so it's gonna be a showdown. So we are gonna go on to the deployment. Me and Adlar have deployed our armies. Uh, starting off over on his side over here, we have. Oh yes, so it's frontline assault uh, deployment. So it's nine inches from the center and then like down to six inches here. So it's like an arrow shape, uh, an isosceles triangle. <laughs> uh, we have Grandmaster Adlar down here on the flank. We have Grey Knight Strike Squad up there on this uh, Mechanicus thing. Um, big Greg. And then the other Dread Knight over there. And in reserves we have the Terminators, and the Chaplain, and the other Terminators, ready to teleport in. And come over to my side, we've got the Bane Wolf, <laughs> we've got the Hellhammer, we've got two uh, infantry squads there, the one with the Flamer and the one with the Grenade Launcher. We've got the Company Commander, uh, next to the Hellhammer we've got the Tech Priest. Then we've got the Conscript here. With the Commissar, we've got the Chimera with the Bulgrins inside. Um, we've got the Heavy Weapons team up here, last cans. The other Chimera with the Infantry Squad, the Melter Gun inside. The other Infantry Squad here with the Grenade Launcher and the Lehman Russ hiding in some buildings there. So, um, Adlar, obviously, he's got a lot less units than me. He deployed all of them first. Uh, so, I I'm going second, less on a sneaky six. Let's see his initiative. Try. We're going in. Oh. Well. <laughs> Alright, so going on to Grey Knights, turn one. So, at the end of my first movement phase, I haven't exactly done a lot, but here we go. Uh, Chapter Master Adler has just sort of shiggled around this building to stay out of the way of that. Um, this strike squad have just moved up from there to here, just in, well, just in shooting range of them. Big Greg's going in, he's getting a bit closer, he's going to start blowing stuff up before he inevitably dies in turn two. Not my conscript. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Points for me. And the other Dread Knights just sort of shiggle around the corner as well, trying to move up that flank there. Obviously, my other three units are in reserve. I will move on to my Psychic Phase, it will not take me long, I guarantee it. End of my Psychic Phase, Manifested Sanctuary. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> what a phase. Yep, what a phase. I can't exactly smite anything because my smite's only 12 inches. Oh. I'll go on to my Shooting Phase. So, at the end of my Shooting Phase, Big Greg just shot into the Chimera with his Rapid Fire Battle Cannon, taking it down to 3. He's uh, shot his heavy stubbers into the conscripts, killing two. And this strike squad here, I'll fired it. Yeah, try that again. This strike squad here fired the stone bolters into this guardsman squad and killed two. Nothing else has happened. I will be declaring no charges this turn because I can't. You could charge Big Greg in. I could charge Big Greg in. All right, so I like is charging in Big Greg into my poor conscripts here. Uh, they don't have watch, they haven't done anything, so we're going to see the charge distance. We're going to roll it in the middle there, in between. He's going to get 11. Oh. oh, do I use a command point? Oh. Do I use a command point? You've got a 6, I'm using a command point, boy! <laughs> Rerolling the 1. Rerolling the 1, leaving the 6. Oh, oh. no! 
<laughs> ah, these have been... <laughs> Measure it. <laughs> well, unfortunately, Big Greg was half an inch too short. The more than one <laughs> <laughs> So he's failed his charge. Uh, so, that is it for Adlar's turn one. Uh, going on to Cadian's turn one. Has anybody watched Attack on Titan? The new series. <laughs> what does this remind you of? <laughs> We're going in. Right, end of the Cadian movement phase. Uh, the brave and noble conscripts are charging into battle against the Titan. Against the Titan. <laughs> <laughs> the Titan and Knight. Uh, Bulgrin's backing up in the Chimera. Tech Priest managed to advance six inches, so he's now within a uh, Healy range, so I can get D3 wounds back. So I got one back. Going up to four. All that damage. Um, Commissar backing him up. Um, this Chimera is moved up 12 inches. Over here, Hellham has just adjusted a little bit. And then this uh, Hellhound. Uh, sorry, no Hellhound. Um, Bane Wolf, he's uh, moved up on the right there. Uh, so we are going to go into the shooting phase. Alright, end of the Cadian's shooting phase. A uh, lot of damage done to Big Greg over here. So he did first rank, second rank with these conscripts. One wound got through. And then we did overlap in fields of fire, which is basically if I do a wound against a unit, I get plus one to hit against that. So we then gunned him with everything here pretty much um, heavy bolters and stuff from me being blade uh, the hell armor sorry into the strike squad wiped them out and basically all heavy weapons went into big greg last cans here did uh, six damage and we just chipped him away all right uh, we are going to be doing a charge we're going to be charging the conscripts into big greg he's been Weakened. Now is the time to strike. Fix your bayonets, boys, because we're going in. That's the point. All right, two have died from Overwatch. We're going in. We're in. The concepts are going to have some. Looks like <laughs> <laughs> looks like meat's back on the menu, Bob. All right, so end of the fight phase. Uh, the concepts have charged in bravely, and they've done no wounds. Big Greg, yeeting them across the yard with his massive feet. <laughs> has killed four by stomping them into the mushy ground. <laughs> mushy ground. <laughs> the Commissar failed his charge, unfortunately, so now we're going to do morale. Um, so they're leadership four. Um, so the conscripts have been led to believe that they, they can beat this knight in uh, close combat by their Commissar, who failed the charge back here. Um, so they have lost uh, seven guys in this turn and I rolled a six for leadership. Uh, so that's what's that? That's up in fourteen. Uh leadership four, so I lose oh I actually lose ten guys actually. Leadership four, fourteen, yeah, so ten ten guys die. Uh, I've got eleven guys <laughs> <laughs> so Private Billiam Stands firm. <laughs> oh God! So end of my turn. Um, obviously, a lot of damage done against Big Greg. He's on two wounds, is he? No, he's on eight. <laughs> he's on eight wounds. Um, conscripts. They're just heroes forever. And the Emperor shall remember. Uh, so I got first blood and I killed the Grey Knight Strike Squad, so I'm on two points. Uh, going on to Adlar's turn two. So at the end of my movement phase, some dire reinforcements have come in. My Chaplain and the Terminator Squad have come in nine inches away from this. Uh... Uh, Bane Wolf. Bane Wolf! Uh, Chapter Master Adlar has stayed there for good reason, I will tell you in a minute. Big Greg has uh, fallen back using his super heavy walker ability and he's uh, going to try and pop open this Chimera. The other Terminator squad has come in over here. 
and this Dread Knight is moving up a little bit too. So, I'll go on to my Green Knight's Psychic Phase. So, the end of my Psychic Phase. This Dread Knight has manifested Sanctuary once more. Um, you might note this Chapter Master Adlar is missing. That's because I used Gate of Infinity to put him over here, behind the Bane Wolf. Which will fall back. Hellhammer. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. <laughs> which will immediately fall back after I charge it and then shoot me to death. But I'm going to have a go anyway. <laughs> um, there's just been a couple of smites here and there as well, like this squad here. I just smite it into it, and then my chaplain used his Vortex of Doom to bring it down to seven. And I think that's about it, correct? Yep, so I will go on to my shooting phase. Okay, so the end of my shooting phase. Uh, I managed to do one damage here with some Storm Bolters. Um, Chapter Master Adler shot his Psy Cannon into here, giving two damage. Um, I killed a Chimera with my Battle Cannon from Big Greg. You might notice that the Conscript survived. <laughs> That's because my heavy, heavy Stubbers didn't kill him. I wish they did. And one of the Bulgrins as well. Oh yeah, and one of the Bulgrins died as well, getting out of the... Uh, he fell over and snapped his neck. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, this squad here uh, did a lot as well. My Silencer and the Stormbolt has killed a lot of boys here. So, at the end of the phase, do you do the morale now? Uh, is it the, the end, end of the turn? Morale, the end of the yeah, the end of the turn. So, yeah, I will... I've got, a, I've got a couple of charges to do, Big Greg mostly, and Chapter Master Adlar. So, on to my f charge phase. So, the end of my charge and fight phases. Adlar failed his charge twice, even with my over... Uh, what is it, my Warlord trait? Rolling like a three... Uh, rolling a six and like a three. Um, this unit we're going to charge here, they rolled like a four and the Chaplain rolled a two. However, Big Greg, he managed to actually do something. He managed to get in. He didn't manage to kill it, though. He only managed to do one damage with uh, his Reaper Chainsaw, dealing six damage once. He did, uh, uh, what was it, four attacks? Four attacks. Yeah, four attacks went through, and then two of them were wounds, and then one of them Jay saved, so he did six damage. There's nothing happening here. They just stay in there. Good There's morale. Going to be a morale here. Uh, so our six guys. So leadership seven plus. So. Um, so that's ten. So I've lost three more guys. So. How's <laughs> a unit gone? Another point for Adler. So we'll be going on to. Cadians turn two. All right. End of. Cadian uh, movement phase, turn two. Um, over here, the guardman got out of the Chimera and has fallen back away from Big Greg. Uh, Lehman Russ has stayed still. Um, what do you call it? Bulgrins and the Commissar moving in. They're Conscript advanced, yeah. is advancing. Yep, they've advanced and the Conscript's advanced towards the enemy uh, enemy lines over there. Everyone else here has stayed still. The Endless has advanced again to get back to the. <laughs> He's like running back and forth panicking trying to heal all the vehicles. The tech priest ends here healed all three wounds back on the uh, hell hammer. So, yay! Nice one, son. Uh, Bane Wolf has moved around here and just so he's within range of the, the Grey Knights. Uh, so, going on to my shooting phase. Right, end of uh, Cadian's turn two shooting phase. Um, There's a big gaping hole in my heart where Big Greg used to be. The worst knight in the Imperium. The worst knight in the entire Imperium, and an even worse pilot, <laughs> i.e. me. Um, I did use two command points as the House Tyrannis rule. Yeah. Um, he did not explode when Jay killed him. Therefore, I used two command points on a four-up. He reappears with D3, D3 wounds. wounds. Didn't get a four-up. He up. did not. <laughs> I was launched, ejected into the air. He... Yeeted across he the yard. To, the knight wanted to come back to life, but Adlard didn't, so he just escaped. A uh, couple of dead Terminators over here. And then, over here, um, Adlard, uh, did I do any wounds to him? No. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, you did. You did two. I did. Yeah, you did two damage. What did I do that with? Um. The. Did I do with the auto cannon, was it? Yeah, it was the auto cannon. Yeah, yeah so the other one didn't. The auto cannon, two wounds into Ella. Um, shot a demolish cannon, and I sort of like split fired everything uh, over here as well. Um, I think he killed one, didn't he? Yeah. I think yeah, he killed one of them. And then the Hellhammer killed another. Uh, so, apart from that, that is it for the shooting phase. Um, will J charge? Would be funny. <laughs> for a laugh. <laughs> for a laugh. We're going in for a laugh. All right. So my my plan there basically was use the uh, the crush them stratagem, which uh, lets him hit on twos, and he would have had nine attacks, hitting on twos, strength nine, minus two damage, uh, no, minus two AP, D3 damage each, so Adlar would have been flat law. <laughs> <laughs> so mostly that didn't work. So uh, that is it for my turn. Uh, we have an extra point for killing Big Greg. It's not like you get an extra couple of points, is it, for no, killing a super heavy or anything? I don't think so. No, we'll just play it like that anyway. <laughs> I mean, right. If Big Greg's worth one point, that's worth one point. But it's oh, not yeah. going to be killing that anytime soon. Oh, yeah, well. uh, go on I, will you. I will stare on in the face of adversity. I will, st I will <laughs> look valiantly into the abyss <laughs> that is my life. <laughs> and I will carry on. I will muster up all the remaining strength of my units. And I will suck a chode before I die. <laughs> <laughs> go on, Great turn nice three. Turn three, boy! <laughs> Okay, so end of my turn three movement phase. This unit here has moved up a little bit here, just to smack it a bit. Um, Adlar has moved up a bit into the back of this Hellhammer. I got the name right hey. once. Um, the Dreadnought has moved up into this squad here. The Terminators are just in range of that conscript, so hopefully <laughs> they get. Hopefully you'll get you'll gun them down and then, yeah. Do a bit of uh, do a bit of stuff here. So onto my psychic phase. At the end of my psychic phase, Adler is uh, smited into this and done nothing because he didn't manifest it. Um, both these units have smited, and they did two mortal wounds because Grey Knight psychic smite. <laughs> Grey Knight smite. That's what I meant to say. Um, this Dread Knight's put sanctuary on himself once more. And they smited and killed one boy. Yeah. So on to Grey Knight's shooting phase. The elite terminators of the Grey Knights, known for their ballistic skill and prowess with a bolter, fired their shot into the conscript. The lone conscript. Don't ignore that. <laughs> the lone conscript waiting, a, waiting fire. Only to know that the Grey Knights missed how much? How much? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rafus. With one wound. Rafus fired up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Billy Arm! <laughs> That's a point to me. Billy Arm forever known as a hero. Oh well. Hero, more like zero. <laughs> zero to hero, just like that. End of Grey Knight shooting phase. As you've seen, the one conscript has died, thanks to these valiant boys over here. Uh, the Dread Knight has flamed these boys here, t killing three, was it? Three? Three. Three yeah. guys. Yeah, three guys. Uh, making them require a morale check at the end of the turn. Uh, over here, we've had some Storm Bolters into here, reducing it to one whole wound. And... Nothing. 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 So, I'm going to wait for Jay to overwatch me and cry in my charge phase. Well, there'll be a lot of charges, so... So, at the end of my fight phase, my chaplain smacked it once and it died. <laughs> <laughs> he showed at it with pure rage and it exploded. <laughs> ah! uh, we got big damage over here. Reducing, was, it, yeah, reducing it to 11 wounds from 26. 15 damage coming 15 in. damage with my uh, uh, Nemesis Demon Greatsword. This is D6 damage. Um, <laughs> then he reversed over him and took, 
<laughs> he went warning vehicle reversing, and he took a wound off. Um, over here, uh. <laughs> over here, um, the Terminator's <laughs> wiped out some of the. I'll just do morale. Uh, um, leadership seven plus. Oh well, plus three. three. I mean, yeah, yeah. they're gone. <laughs> Thank you. Now you can consolidate. For like so I will cons- I will consolidate three inches. Uh, measure me. Um, I don't know if you can get in with that. No, you can't. But you can go towards that. I can go right. towards it as much as I can. And and, and, the, and them as well. Go on. There, yeah, just there. That's good. So uh, you killed a couple of units. That's a, that's a good few. That's a good few units there. Um, I'll talk to the points now and I'll get back to you. So at the end of my turn, I've got an additional two points for killing two units. The infantry guard squad here and the... Bane Wolf. Bane Wolf, that's it. So we'll be going on to Imperial Guard, turn three. Warning! Vehicle reversing! <laughs> right, end of my movement for turn three. Uh, so the Hellhammer's fallen back away from uh, Adlar's Chapter Master Adlar. <laughs> uh, God, he can go seven inches now. Uh, the Tech Priest has uh, gone under there. You can just about see him probably hiding. Um, everyone here stayed still. And then over here, the uh, Chimera stayed still, as has the, um, the what you call them? Oh, no, the Bulgrin, sorry, and the Commissar are charging in. There you go. Clunk some grey knights on the head. Uh, Lehman Russ and Last Can team staying still once again. How many wounds do you get back on your Bing oh, yes. Hellhammer? The Hellhammer, uh, Bing D- Hellhammer. D three wounds back with the Tech Priest. Two. I'm up to thirteen, but I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to escape Adlar's attacks again if he can uh, get into combat with me, so we are gonna blast him with everything we got. Go on to Cadian's shooting phase. End of shooting phase. Um, so, Adlar, so I need to come to his wounds, blast into bits for the uh, the many guns of the Hellhammer. Um, over here, a lot of shots coming in against the Dread Knight. It is now down to one wound left. From 12. From 12. And that is it for the shooting phase. So a couple of last gun shots, so it didn't do anything. Um, going on to the charge phase. All right, uh, end of turn three for the Cadians. Um, over here, charge made. One of the Bolgrins died in Overwatch, unfortunately, um, and he didn't manage to do anything to the Dread Knight. He did, he did three wounds to him, two damage each, and the Dread Knight did three uh, six up saves. Six up in vaults. Uh, Commissar didn't do anything either. He just took a couple of whacks from a halberd. Uh, that is it for the fight phase. So, going on to um, Green Knight's turn. turn. Four. End of my movement phase. These boys have moved up. That's it. <laughs> there, There's still a rumble going on over there, so I will do my psychic phase. End of my psychic phase. I smited the Bulgrin. It didn't go off. I smited the Commissar did one mortal wound. Over here, these units smited the Hellhound and did, it did do two damage. Did a couple of damage and yep. Vortex of Doom. Yep, and then I used my last remaining command point, remaining command point to use Vortex of Doom on my Traplin, reducing it to eight. Nice. I did a bit of damage here, forcing a command check on the uh, mora- uh, sorry, morale test on the, uh, what is it, the just infantry squad. Yeah. And the engine seer, which is hiding down there, lost the wound as well due to the vortex. That's the, sig- that's the three signifying it there. So, on to Grey Knight's shooting phase. End of my shooting phase, I shot this, I did nothing. Under my charge phase. So, at the end of my turn, these did not make it in either. And one, one Terminator got obliterated in Overwatch. <laughs> and over here, the Bulgrin. Split his attacks and smacked the dead Dread Knight into uh, in the next week as well. He two two minutes survived, but I killed the Commissar with my halberd boy. Yeah. It's I'm six to J seven. 
And now I'm going to get ravaged. Oh shit. I'm going to ravage the board in the process. <laughs> so, uh, this meant to be turn four. Turn four. Jay's turn four. Coming in hot. Alright, turn four moving phase from Pure Guard. Uh, nothing much, just moved the Chimera, advanced him over there. He's just about within Adlar's deployment zone now. And that is it for the movement. Oh, I fell back with uh, the Bulgarin as well. So I can shoot the Terminators. Uh, going on to the shooting phase. Alright, end of the shooting phase. So Terminators destroyed over here and over here. Only the Chaplain remains. So uh, one last Rav. I'm going to use a Strategium. Uh, the one I mentioned earlier, for one command point, crush them on the beam blade, and I'm going to try and charge the chaplain, who's like to do your overwatch. Uh, one it. Nothing. Nothing. Does he make it in? Eight. Yes. He should in. be in. Yeah, that's in. Yeah. He is in. That's just in, actually. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, some very careful measurement now. Because uh, if it's just over eight, then you're not in. Well, you got to be within an inch. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so we got six attacks. Hitting on twos because of the crush them uh, strategium. Five hits. We are strength nine. So wounded on twos. twos. That was a two as well, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a two. Uh, it's minus two. Four up Rosarius. This would be four up regardless because it's minus two, yeah, so. Yeah. Mm. Oh. He's dead. Uh, He's I did, dead. I did D3 each. He's dead. Do you really have to roll for it? <laughs> Do you really have to roll One, for it? One, two, three, four. So five wounds. That's three. And here's a command point to re-roll one. <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there no. he goes. Oh, no. <laughs> so, if you pan across the table, Jay. So if we look across this battlefield. Not a grey knight to be found. The corrupted forces that fight for chaos now, took the Grey Knights completely by surprise, and the chaplain saw his last men gunned down. He just, he was just shocked to. All right, let's get on with the post game. <laughs> and then he got run over by a beam blade. <laughs> Hellhammer. Hellhammer. <laughs> I'm correcting you now. Uh, so, Cadian victory. Going on to the post game chat. Right, that was the end of the match. Um, nice one, Adler. Good one, mate. Well played. Uh, that was what? What? How did you describe it? Destruction. Um, I will say, please bleep this. Uh, a lot of it came down to <laughs> positioning from me. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. A lot. It, it, some of it, some of the positioning was terrible. Mm. Like that. Like Dreadnought in the top corner. Yeah, you were, bit, you were quite spread out, didn't you? I was very yeah. spread out, but I had 17 models, you had 73. I had 90 yeah. models, <laughs> so, so, so along the lines of that. Um, I was very scared of fire, a lot of fire, like um, the Demon Russ and obviously the Hellhammer. So I uh, trying to block line of sight wherever I could really, but... Um, yeah, that was destruction. Um... You, it was what it was one point there was like you nearly could have it was like the tipping point but yeah the tipping back the wrong yeah. way <laughs> um, big Greg living up to his uh, name as the worst knight. worst knight in the entire <laughs> Imperium he's never ever done well he's never, he? he, never I've had him since I've had him since the Imperial Knights came out yeah. and I like I used him like as soon as I could just to, you know he, he wasn't fully painted or anything but uh, he's never done well for me. Never. First night that first, we had as a group, yeah. and first night on the channel as well. 
in a battle report. I know I shot mine, but yeah, you've showed yours. You haven't used yours, have you? No, no. There we are. Hmm. Big Greg living up to the legend of dying first on the channel. <laughs> uh, uh, what do I say? He's gonna die turn two. What happened? He died turn two. Um, flipping hell hammers. Right. Just well, I, well, point, I'm just gonna point this out. I'm sorry, JB. You've done a beautiful job on this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it look, it look, it look, like it does. It does do. It looks stunning. I'm not gonna lie. But you know, if you want to win games, buy one of these. Well, I think that is. How many points? That's like five. That's like three Lehman Russes worth of points. Mm. I'd say three Lehman Russes is better than that. Yeah, I think you're right. Just the amount. The battle cannon is just way, way too. Big. Yeah, I think you're right. That was. We're not like big like tournament players or anything, obviously, but like Grey Knights is, like a lot of people say, it's one of the weakest armies. Mm. And K, like I'd say, Cadians is one of the best. Yeah. Well, uh, well like. I know you table with me, but like in terms of points, I did catch up to you quite a bit. Yeah, well, obviously I had a lot of little units. Yeah, well, the, the weakness is getting in, getting getting the boys in. Yeah, because yeah. like I can't fall back and shoot. Yeah, my tanks are just they just get ravaged. It's in close quarters. <laughs> it's it's the trouble of trying to get my units in close enough because like I can only yeah. keep like a certain amount of my army in reserve to deep strike anyway, and even then mm. when they come in, they're nine inches away. Yeah. Um, my Dread Knights didn't have teleporters on them, so I couldn't put them in the chambers, in the teleporting chambers. Mm. <laughs> um, I'm wondering if I sort of shot at the Hellhound sooner with Big Greg, because I mean the auto cannon is seven, the battle cannon, sorry, is, is seventy-two inch range. So I wonder if I started smacking that earlier would have done a difference. But my my idea mm. was being I try and yeah. like, blast the small units and try and rack up points quickly. But then, I obviously, well, you, did, you did. You were killing the. What well, again? Is you don't have much long range, so you can't. No, no I mean, this is a shooting army. Yeah, and that's, that's just like mid range, close range. Yeah, that's the thing about Grey Knights. Like, you know, not even that, like not even the purgation, not even the purgation squads. You know, you oh, can yeah. you can just take special weapons. You can't even take last cannons. Like the only thing that has last cannons is the Land Raider mm. in it. So I think I think I'm pretty sure and. They need to have like Razorback as well. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, they have Razorbacks too, of course. Um, yeah, just vehicles. I think um, Big Greg could have taken this out. If he yeah, it's just like get in there. Yeah, that's the problem. Let him get there. Oh, Big Greg. Because like if, <laughs> if say now right a rerun <laughs> say now I think they're just in front of us here the two units if that was at the end of the table and Big Greg was at like as close as he could be. I'd move up as much as I can, do a little bit of damage to you, but then you'd just shoot everything into me, mm. and then I'd be ravaged. You would be very... nearly dead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> very nearly dead. Um, I mean, nothing. Um, that was the main thing in my army, really, that did most of the stuff. I mean, like, yeah. I had, like, the last can, and the Lehman Rust a little bit. That was, like, the big thing. Green Knights are so expensive. Yes. Yeah, like, you know, D Big Greg was a third of my army, don't get me wrong, you know, he's close to 500 points, mm. as a, you know, a Knight Pallet is, but... We probably should have done 2,000 points. <laughs> yeah, so I would have had more troops. Yeah, but then again, you would have just built up more troops again, so... I would have probably had you know, like, more I don't, I don't, I don't think taking Big Greg in a... In an army that has very expensive units is a wise idea, but I wanted to do it because it's fun and I haven't used them. Oh yeah, time. It, was, it was like super heavy. Showdown. Yeah, we, yeah, super heavy showdown. That's that was the whole <laughs> idea. Um, but, you know, we we play for fun and I I play for fun. That's why I play Green Knights. I like Green Knights as an army. Like one of my favourites, especially with all the psychic powers going off as well. And I haven't used my knight in a while, and he's lived up to his name as being <laughs> the worst in the Imperium. So there he is, that boy. There he is. He, he's he looks cool. Though. He looks cool. Yeah, sort of matters. He looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> looks cool, he's blowing up. Anyway, um, we're going to love you and leave you. Jay's knackers. <sighs> nice one, son. Nice one, son. Once again. Yep. So, thanks for watching. Uh, plenty more battle reports to come. We're thinking Cadians has been one of the better armies. Definitely. Uh, Necrons is probably my worst one to fight against, so maybe we'll have to do a Cadians versus Necrons. Adlars and Necrons as well. The team up with Aedons. My so first army Necrons. We could could do a, a 2v1 at some point if we could actually organise time together. <laughs> but I know. We sort of like lucked out on this one, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, until next time. Nice one, son! <laughs> Alright, what up Epic Gamers? This is 40k, this is your boys, you got Jay, we got me, we got Nostromo, let's do this. <laughs> got please no, please no way. <laughs> what up Epic Gamers? <laughs> right, let's do this. Dislike the video on YouTube. <laughs>